Hi, and welcome. I'm Patrick Stumpf, Product Manager for Donaldson. Today's episode of Clearing the Air is all about dust. At the end of this brief video, you should have a better understanding of the main types of dust and how to identify them. That's important because you need to know what kind of dust you're dealing with to collect and manage it effectively. When we think about collecting dust contaminants, there are eight important characteristics to consider. The first is size, which is expressed in microns. Some dust is visible to the naked eye, while other types are only visible using a microscope. The size of the contaminant is important because it dictates how the dust cake will form on the outside of the filter media in your dust collector. In addition to size, the shape of the dust will also affect how the dust cake forms. Particles could be round or long, skinny and fibrous, or flat and flaky depending on what type of application is generating the dust. Mixtures of shapes, or shapes and sizes that are very uniform, can each cause their own challenges as we'll address in future videos. Bulk density is the amount of weight that is measured in a defined volume. It is expressed in mass per unit volume, typically pounds per cubic foot. An example of a heavier density dust is lead, with a bulk density range of 180 to 230 pounds per cubic foot. On the other end of the spectrum would be something like styrofoam, with a bulk density range of just two to five pounds per cubic foot. Abrasiveness is a dust characteristic that will tend to rub away or abrade the filter media or collector enclosures. Examples of abrasive dust include sand, rock, and shot blast. Hydroscopicity is a dust characteristic that will readily take up and retain moisture. Hydroscopic dust examples include acids, starches, and cement. Agglomerativeness is a characteristic that will tend to gather the dust into a ball, mass, or cluster. Examples may include paper, cellulose, and cotton. Fibrousness means that the dust is long and skinny. This example shows fibrous particles from a fiberglass sanding and grinding operation. Note the splintered look of the dust. This is what can cause the material to hold together or be agglomerative. Chemical composition is also important. It is always good practice to get the safety data sheets on the dust from the customer. This will provide information about corrosiveness, toxicity, and explosiveness. Understanding the characteristics of the dust contaminants in your facility will help ensure you put into place the collection system best suited to your needs. Please join us for the next episode of Clearing the Air, where we will dig deeper into what makes some of these dusts particularly challenging in a manufacturing environment. And remember, Donaldson is always ready to talk to you about custom tailored strategies for managing dust in your operation. For more information, contact your local Donaldson representative or visit us online at donaldson.com.